many feet of fence we're gonna build today? We're gonna build uh, 5,280 feet of fence today. Woo! Hey folks, this is Josh, Stony Ridge Farmer. Welcome to the farm vlog today. We are on day five of the fence build. How many fence crews we got out here today? One big one. One big one, <laughs> so one big fence crew. Farm Fence Solutions out here. We're working with Tornado Wire. Today we're gonna stretch one of the largest rolls of tornado wire that they make it's a quarter mile roll and we're doing a one mile of fence challenge right now and these guys are busting butt so we got fence crews from all over north carolina this is a section getting ready to get stretched come along today as we do the one mile fence challenge today here on the stony ridge farm all right how about a woo everybody woo <laughs> All right, guys, we're getting ready to stretch this wire. I'm gonna let Luke talk to you a little bit about what we have here. So what we've got going here is uh, what we call a gut strain or a center pull. We use two net boards and boundary strainers between them to bring it together. And then we'll join the wire in the middle, uh, either with knots, with crimp sleeves, or with gripples. All right, guys, so if you haven't seen this before, these are called strainer boards. There's two of them right here, and this is the gut strain where they're pulled together with chain tension. Now, if we're pulling from the end down here, we'd be pulling with the winch on the Evo 2 from Protec. What we have here are strainers, and these are driven in here to squeeze the wire without damaging the wire, and they'll pull these two portions of wire together right here. So this run right here is a full one-quarter mile run. Amazing. Guys, evidently building a one mile stretch of fence is the fencer's challenge, pretty much. Is that something that's true? That's right. That's All right. right. Mile in a day. Mile in a day is the big challenge. We got a lot of guys, a lot of experienced operators out here. I hope you understand why I'm not doing this all myself, but I am learning as we go, and we'll be building the rest of this fence, mostly just me and Mrs. Stony Ridge. saw driven in the ground is driven six feet in the ground and that's how we make a brace and these are eight foot steel posts that'll go in all the way down along the line here and I'm in the way these guys are moving and shaking an amazing amount of work is going into this fence build today guys it's starting to rain which may I don't know it may prohibit us from getting a full mile of fence done today but we'll see, we'll see how it goes. Weather predictions are saying that's gonna rain for the next two hours really, really heavy. It's about 3.30 in the afternoon. Mm. Fingers crossed. So this is a remote control skid steer. In other words, there's a remote that's outside the skid steer right here and they drive it all remote controlly. There's also a post pounder that goes on this, but today we're using it to tote wire. Pretty cool. Track skid steer, much easier on the land than the wheeled skid steer. So we parked Don's skid steer and we're using this one here. Awesome. So the boys just got done doing a long quarter mile pull here. We're gonna go up here and show you where they're attaching to the brace. What we're doing right here is getting ready to set up to hang a gate. So he's taking the welder, turned the heat up really hot, blown a hole through this galvanized pipe and he has a respirator on for sure while we're working with this galvanized. And he's getting ready to weld the nut for the gate hanger on. Pretty cool, check it out. So each one of these corner posts is built as a brace and it has a strut that goes down into the ground that's attached to a post that's six feet down in the ground. So that's buried six feet down so this thing is super duper solid they'll stretch this entire quarter mile roll of fence and the post will only draw up about that much when it pulls back 
on it. It is super duper strong. So that's why we're using this kind of fence on the farm. It's a lifetime fence. It's super duper strong. So what we're gonna do is pull in here, and get past this, past this stretcher bar here, and we'll hook on with the winch, pull this stretch tight. This is the remote for our winch on the Evo. It's just to keep up style in and out. Quarter mile fence, extremely tight here, guys, and we're getting ready to attach it to all these posts all the way down the line. And they'll attach with a little wire attachment device. You just take a drill and zoop, zoop, and do that. What we're doing is stripping the vertical stays out here so that we can knot this off where we've got it stretched, uh, stretched here past the end. And once we get all these out of our way, then we'll be able to knot this back. And we'll show you that knot in just a minute. This fence is 1147.6 Tornado Taurus Knot, which is a square knot. We're gonna tie this 1147.6 Tornado Taurus off uh, here at the strain post. I like to start with the, uh, the line wire just below the strut, because this is where it gets the most crowded. So we'll tie this off with it down a little bit lower, and then we can slide the whole fence up. This knot will hold uh, somewhere in the neighborhood of a thousand pound forces. A pound force is a measure of force uh, similar to a newton. You could convert that to newtons or kilogram forces where a foot pound or a pound foot is a measure of torque. So we tie this one first. The next one we're going to tie is the one right above it. Next one we're going to tie is the bottom one because we've got the wire slid up. That is called a high tensile termination knot. Some people call it a slip knot. Then we slide our fence down to where it's gonna live permanently. And now we can tie them in any order we want. So let me talk you through a termination knot. Uh, the first step is to get as much of the slack out between the strain post and the strainer board as you can. And we come under, over, under, over. We're gonna take one lazy loop, so that's kind of a long wrap, like this, and two tight wraps. We put a crank in the wire, right here, and then you just ring it off. And if you ring it off instead of cutting it, it's nice and smooth. You don't get a jagged edge that's sharp. Guys, that's a remote control skid steer. I don't know if you've ever seen one of those, but that's awesome.
a corner brace right here. It's going to be braced down that way and down that way. And they're going to pull around the outside of this corner brace, shoot right straight down there. It's about a 675 foot pull. Awesome. One shot all the way down there. Fence dog. Hey, fence dog. That's a good fence doggy. Good dog. Tornado, baby. Woo. <laughs> We're gonna get Mrs. Stony Ridge inside the skid loader while I drive it. What do you think, honey? Sounds like an adventure. <laughs> He's gonna be in there, it's awesome. mess with Mrs. Stony Ridge. We just we're sending her out through the field here. <laughs> she likes to go to Disneyland and stuff like that, so I think this is gonna be right up her alley. Should we go full reverse here in a second? We're gonna pull her up here and go full reverse. Zoom in on her face. Bye. <laughs> Field up. We worked so hard for this grass. Woo! These carowinds. What do you think? Is it good? Yeah, it was awesome. <laughs> Guys, this is it. The last one, last pull right here. We're hooked to the winch. One mile of tornado wire on this farm today. All these guys have been working their butts off. Guys, thanks for all your hard work. It's looking good. Got a couple more knots to tie. Thanks a lot for watching the Stony Ridge Farm vlog today. This is looking great. I'm super duper impressed. We had volunteers out here. We had a total of like 10 people out here. Super duper awesome. Guess what? Got a new member of the family over here. Mrs. Stony Ridge got herself a Jeep. We'll see you guys again next time on the Stony Ridge Farm. All right? Woo! 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 <laughs> Good stuff. Well, come on down to the Stony Ridge. Bring your wife and bring your kids. We're living life pure and sweet. That's the way it's supposed to be, Stony Ridge. And these are driven in here to crimp or squeeze the post. Woo! We've got guys out zipping. Uh, uh. Sit still, boy. <laughs> so <laughs> look at them disappear. Like, got the camera right here, man. I don't want no publicity I'm talking about my fence work. company. So the post you just saw, I got pizza in my teeth. <laughs> Something stupid to say? Nope. Can cut that out. Nope. That's not even true. A towel won't do anything to stop you from dying. Listening up, Limber? Yeah. All right, good job. Getting rid of some of that yucky mud. You know what Billy the Kid said, right? What's that? I'll make you famous. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> you take off. I'll take the camera. Hold it like a baby that's out like Hold this. Hold it like a baby? Yeah. Damn, yeah, volunteers again on here. Right here to play goodbye to Chris and Chris. Woo! Woo! Hey, right there. We just got a film right here, I'll put that tie right there. Yeah, we just put that tie with a film right here. That right there, you have a white right there. Mm-hmm, yeah, yeah. Woo! Woo!